On the fabled island of knights and knaves, we meet three people. Who are these three people? These are A, B and C. One of them is the knight, one of them is a knave and the other one is a spy. All three are different. Now, what is the information given? The knight always tells the truth. Whoever is the knight will always tell the truth. The knave will always lie. The spy can either lie or tell the truth. That is the condition. Now, these type of questions are categorized under the topic binary logic. So, if you want to prepare such questions, read or try and understand the topic of reasoning which is binary logic. Now, how do we start with this? Let's see what is the question. Who is the knight? So, we start by assuming the first person to be the knight. Then in the second case, we assume B to be the knight. And in the third case, we assume C to be the knight. And that is how we proceed with our question. Look at each case one by one. Let's just forget about these two. Now, A says, since A is the knight here, A says C is the knave. So that is always true. C would be the knave because the knight always tells the truth. C says, I am the spy. C, since he is the knave, this is false. And this is actually, this part is satisfying the condition. B says, the B would be the spy. The spy can either lie or tell the truth. So this is also applying. B says, A is the knight. So he can always tell the truth as it is in this case. Or he may also lie if he is the spy. So this case is possible. And in this case, who is the knight? A is the knight. Let's see what about the other two. And then we can jump to our conclusion. A says C. Who is the knight here? B. B is the knight. So B must be telling the truth. A is the knight. Let's say B is the knight and the knight always tells truth. And B says A is the knight. So in this case, both A and B becomes the knight, which is not possible. So this scenario is not possible. So we'll rule it out. Let's move on to the last scenario and understand what we have. Who's the knight here? C. C being the knight says, I am the spy. Are C is the knight. How can the knight be the spy? This is again self-contradictory. So This is not possible. So these two cases are omitted. We have A being the knight, B is the spy and C is the knave. That is a definite answer. Who is the knight? A is the correct option. I hope this helps. Meanwhile, you can practice few more questions from our playlist. Keep practicing these questions because these are often repeated. You may always get a similar type of question in your examination. So keep practicing, keep learning. Happy learning to everyone. See you all in the next video.